Hello and welcome back to Planet Coaster. Today we are adding about 20,000 pieces on to the core build this episode. Now, this isn't... Basically, the square is not done. Um, I wanted to try and finish it up tonight, but sadly, uh, time constraints and things like that, it just wasn't possible. However, we have a great foundation moving forward. Um, but we're going to start this episode kind of wrapping up the previous building that we built last time. And this is a, a part of the men's dorm, I believe. And it is on the left side of the entryway. Now, I'm trying to come up with kind of a different tile set than previously used on the women's dorm. Because if I keep using the same motifs everywhere, the build can look a little repetitive beyond just the roof line. So... We are using some thicker wooden beams over here, some different windows, but they're close enough to the previous ones that they have um, a similar enough feel to um, make it look like the area is at least kind of designed together. And we will be adding extra wooden elements to bulk up the overhangs and supports for the roof tiles. And of course, we're just going to have three variations to uh, place down here. We're gonna have a kind of double door entryway into the main um, front of the building. And then we are going to have a window tile set and then a this kind of tea room almost tile set to use as our third tile. Now, you always kind of need a minimum of about three tiles to skin a building in a decent way, in my opinion. That way it doesn't look too repetitive you have some elements that are used to break up surfaces. Um, that way you don't have a whole bunch of repeating elements back to back to back. It doesn't really look good if you do something like that. It looks maybe a little bit lazy. Though, I mean, granted, there are buildings in the world, of course, that do that. You know, a, a lot of, say, like modern hotels or, or modern buildings in general, it is a lot of repeating of the same patterns and that's why I don't like to build modern stuff. It's just it's just a little too kind of uh, repetitive for me. Um, but then again, this episode we are still working with the roof tile set, uh, still trying to edit things together and that can be repetitive in itself. But I think it just looks so good and that's why I want to spend a lot of time, um, you know, on this roof just so that everything feels well laid out. So. The cool thing too about these uh, little buildings on the men's dorm is that it has a little bit of this foundation element that is coming out from the floor and that's creating some little um, plateau or maybe porch like elements without having to actually construct much else beyond that. Uh, the back side's going to have its own doorway, of course. I do enjoy how, you know, this building really only has two ways in, and one of which is, of course, surrounded by that low wall. So, it's pretty interesting. It, it, it's, it's quite a nice feel in general. Now, I did say there were three tiles that we're using. That's technically a half-truth. Um, this circle window is part of the third tile, and that, you know, is kind of normal. Um, sometimes you might have a subdivision of a a tile just to make make certain areas fit together a little bit better, uh, especially with uh, areas where there's a tight fit and say the roof line doesn't really line up perfectly. But you know we got there, and and I think that's the important part. So for the rest of the episode, we will be working on the northern side of this plaza, like we said um, and and wanted to do previously, and this is. I don't know which building really is the dorm for the men. Um, I have a feeling that one of them is, you know, just an outbuilding um, for maybe storage for the overall compound in general. Maybe some sort of food area as well. You know, this side's fairly nice and, and just really well put together and laid out. So. If you guys know what each building is, do let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you do watch Korra, um, otherwise you may not know even what we're building at all uh, throughout this, this whole time-lapse section. But, all these parts and everything, the game is still running smooth. And I'm excited because Frontier actually just announced that they will be increasing the part limit for blueprints from 2,000 to 4,000. Now obviously, 
we still can't really save any of the buildings that we're making here to be useful but having a 4000 part limit definitely increases our build series capabilities and especially with that ride detail so you know how i spend most of the parts on the station now I can probably spend 2,000 parts on the station and then 2,000 parts on the actual environment. And that is just an awesome thing to hear. Um, granted, 10,000 parts? You know, let's add a few zeros onto this thing. Let's make the limit like way up there because the more we can um, detail out, I think just the better. But then, of course, there's going to be these size limitations. I'm sure that the Steam Workshop just can't handle uh, some things very well. And they are just kind of slowly increasing the cap here. And, and I think that might be the better decision because if you go all in immediately, people might get a little overwhelmed, maybe. And so, you know, starting with the, the 1,000 limit, then 2,000, and now 4,000, by that logic, maybe by the end of the year, it'll be an 8,000 limit. And that just means people are getting more comfortable. You know, we're all adding extra detail to the point to where Frontier realizes that, hey, the, these blueprints, you know, let's just make them even better. And, and I can't agree more. Now, this right building here has an extra little uh, jut coming out of it. And the roof tiles don't really line up. It, it's, it's a grid and a half. Uh, worth of width there and we don't have you know obviously any tiles that made for such an awkward length and we had to make a custom roof but it's pretty cool because the ribbing on the tile set sticks up through the gold trim and that's creating these like little flower or star like patterns in the gold trim itself and I just love the look of it so I didn't trim it back all the way to make it flush like the rest I left it there and it definitely makes that little section look a little unique and a little bit more detailed than say even the main roof itself and part of me is just like hey do we want to do that everywhere else probably don't have time to but it would definitely look cool um, at this point this is definitely our our, our largest project um, ever undertook, uh, you know, it's, it's speeding up the Cathedral of Light, even though that was definitely a multi-day project. This is weeks and weeks of building, and it is totally worth it. If you, if you guys are even building a park, you, you know the dedication it takes, and and um, I, I'm definitely feeling that here, and it, it's totally fun to watch it slowly mature and show that, um, you know, all, all this hard work is, is just paying off. Now, this roof obviously going to be a little bit different custom of course we i wanted a higher peak because this is kind of a main structure based on my reference images you know it has kind of a fancier entryway that's why we have those multiple awnings kind of just sticking out there and uh, interacting with the path below um it could be maybe a a, pr a more temple just for the men i don't know um but it definitely is a pretty fancy building just to be by the men's dorm. And maybe it's just to make up for the fact that the women's dorm is more close to the centralized shrine that they wanted the men's dorm to have their own smaller one for themselves. I don't know. It's, it's just one of those lore things where we can speculate and have a little bit of fun of discussing what could this be. And when you're building stuff, you know, knowing what it's used for, knowing what it is, um, is, is a big help because it can help you know, fill in the gaps of your imagination and possibly um, in the gaps of any references. You know, if you know something's a an eatery or a dining area, you might be able to put tables that aren't really there in your references, but it makes sense because it's an eatery. I mean, they're going to have tables. You know, they're going to have these utensils. They're going to have these things to use in that section. So that's that's why it's important to really know about uh, what you're building or at least kind of have a general idea on what's going on. Here, copying uh, the building a little bit wrong, having to repair some of the corners and edges. That's kind of normal when you are working off tile sets and, and copying and pasting a whole lot sometimes you just aren't paying attention enough and you just copy the wrong section like even here i'm copying the wrong section again and i i left off the little wings on the roof line and i'm just like well, that doesn't make any sense why it would do that so copy it again delete clean it up 
and move it over. And it, it's it's just a really cool um, thing to do. I think I'm getting a little bit better with copying and pasting items, though I'm definitely still doing a lot of redundant uh, manual tasks, which you know isn't great, but I think for uh, currently my skill level, it, it's, it's about where I should be. Um, the right building there, the smaller kind of northern building, that's going to have a balcony and we're going to have to put that custom railing uh, from before. And this will also help tie it together with everywhere else, you know. Uh, this reference images that I'm using actually doesn't really have a balcony here. It's actually a solid structure. But I think um, I'm tasting, taking a little bit of artistic liberty with some things um, just so that it might work together a little bit better in my mind and so you know feel free to always change and, and adapt to uh, the game that you're playing you know if this was minecraft obviously we can't capture all these fine details um planet coaster luckily we we have such an incredible and powerful building tool that we can so you know you can take the time to make things a little bit more interesting than maybe the reference that you're you're going for or or improve on it in some way and, and learn from those things because that's how you build your skill set in my opinion you know editing kind of these masterworks so this is pretty much all we do in today's speed build we're going to go ahead and take a look at it in real time um, obviously you guys might be able to tell maybe um, but I'm using a little bit of a different recording setup so it might sound weird all right, so here we are, real time, overlooking the men's dorm area. And uh, the title of this video is going to be 20,000 Parts. And the reason I want to title it that is to kind of highlight the, the redundancies in my own building um, so that we can hopefully curb this later on. And you might have noticed this during the speed build section or, or things like that is the fact that our roofing tiles, you know, we use such a small wooden piece here. And this is where all most, if not all of our part count is going to. And the thing is about these roof tiles are they're, they're great and detailed. And, and the reason we, we see, keep on using them is simply because they're already made. Uh, we, can, we can copy them around it, and I've gotten pretty good at editing them on the fly. However, these roofs don't match our tiles, right? So these have kind of a custom peak onto them, and they have a little bit more custom elements. However, this roof is still using those tiny little wooden, wooden tiles, even though it's completely unnecessary because this whole length here is about four meters, if not um, six or eight. And I could use larger wood tiles for these. And I just wanted to point that out to you guys that do keep this in mind if your machine isn't powerful enough to, to handle this many parts, but also um, to kind of squash the whole, you're not doing it quite effectively as you could comments ahead of time. And, and, it's, and it's very true, you know, it, it's just, it, I've become so used to using these smaller pieces and just kind of copying them up that I forgot that I even had other blocks to use. Um, we did do that though here, and you'll notice it, that these tiles obviously change color less often. Um, it's a very solid hue, uh, maybe even differently colored than the lower section, and that's because we are using some one smaller piece to establish the angle a really long tile and then a, a four meter I think to kind of cap it off and that's going to save us on so much of the part count uh, on this roof specifically that I really should have recognized it a little bit sooner on the other one but it, it's just it's just gonna help and, and I, I really need to pay attention to that that's kind of me kind of self critiquing a little bit kind of allowed so you guys know that you know I don't think I'm a perfect builder by any means and, and I'm always trying to kind of get a little bit better. But enough of that. Let's take a look. I'm loving this plaza. Um, you know, this low wall kind of surrounding the area. You know, I, I read a lot of manga, watch a lot of anime and things like that. And it, it's it's very much fitting the theme uh, of, especially some manhwas that I've been reading recently. That's kind of more Korean. But it, it's it's just such a nice feel, and it would be lovely to live in such an area, especially with those mountains in the background and the water and everything. It would just be so peaceful. But plans for the future 
is there needs to be a well here and that's going to be pretty cool. It'll be relatively small with an interesting roof and it's on this little raised platform. You can put buckets maybe around or something that looks like buckets and, and, and pans and things. Uh, there needs to be a gazebo-like element in this little jut here. It's going to have like an octagonal roof and that's going to look pretty cool, I think, if we can get that to work out. You know, the ringed entryways, you know, kind of capping these off and, and actually getting these to merge into the building itself so this transition isn't quite as awkward. And then, of course, wrapping our previous kind of building. And, you know, some elements are embellished, kind of made up in the sense that, um, you know, the art that I use isn't so detailed that it can show me all the, all the uh, uh, things I need to know about the building. And so all this wooden stuff is kind of just just winged in there um but it did turn out fairly well if if you guys want a quick tip on just doing kind of these timber frames is each floor is obviously going to have a column and then a cross column roughly uh, dividing each floor as well and you know you can have different elements from windows to blank wall sections to round wall sections but you just kind of keep the wooden trim consistent throughout and then you're able to kind of tie it all together kind of uh to that base element and that's what kind of keeps the theme cohesive. You know, excited to move on to some forest down here. Also excited to <laughs> move on to the rest of the island. I did tweet out a picture earlier on how much we have built so far, and I, and I kind of want to show you guys in video um, just, just how much progress is made. This box, of course, is the total limit of the parks currently in Planet Coaster, and we have built just that little bit. And, you know, some people's theme parks are just so beautiful and amazing. They take up the whole thing. I just don't know how they do it. But it is, it, it's just really fun to work on something like this. Just over time, you know, it, it's just like handcrafting a boat or something. When, it, when, when this thing is done, I'm going to be just so happy. But that's going to be it for this episode. I do have one quick little announcement is you guys might have noticed already, but I have changed my recording schedule around a little bit in the sense that I am now uploading Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday are Planet Coaster Days. Tuesdays, of course, are going to be the um, neat little tutorial series that I'm starting on building. So you guys, if you want more uh, refined building tips, you can go check those out. Thursdays is when I get to work on this build and upload those videos. And then Saturdays are going to be our building series, so anything from coaster stations, shops, or, or just these one-off smaller builds that aren't quite as, as time-consuming as this one itself. And the gaps in between are our are, are, are normal kind of like banished episodes, timber and stone. We are also going to stream every Sunday going forward. I, I want to stream for a little bit. You guys probably, um, it was kind of a short notice, but last weekend I did stream for a good hour and a half. Uh, the VOD of that will be uploaded on Friday, so you can check that out. But I think that's about all the announcements I have. I'm just changing it up. I want to produce more content for you guys and um, hopefully keep entertaining you with variety of content because I can't just keep playing Planet Coaster forever. I'll get burned out if uh, that's all I did every day. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out some more creative goodness, go ahead and watch some other videos. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment down below on what you think. And I'll see you all next time.